Before taking your goal kick, the most important thing is to not overthink it and don't have any negative thoughts of you not being able to take the goal kick because having negative thoughts can impact your kick itself. When placing the ball, you want to find a little hill of a good patch of grass or astro. This makes it way easier for you to get under the ball and get the backspin at height you want. When you place the ball down, you can also use the brand on the ball as an area to aim for. The part of your foot that should be having the contact on the ball should be the big hard bone on your foot. When striking the ball, you want to hit the bottom half of the ball to generate the height and backspin to get the furthest goal kick possible. Remember to not kick the ball as hard as you can, but focus on technique. This is so important and something that I personally struggled a lot with. You also want your toes to be aiming at the ground when striking the ball. You want to have your eyes on the ball when you strike and first look up after you have hit the ball. When striking the ball, you want your opposite arm of the leg you're kicking the ball with to go out to the side and your other arm to go downwards to keep the balance when striking. The run-up. The run-up is down to preference and is different from keeper to keeper. I personally take six steps back and two and a half steps to the side. I could also just take two big steps to the side. When practicing the goal kick, try to differentiate your run-up and see which one suits you the best. When you have found the run-up you think that suits you the best, you have to keep on doing the exact same thing to get the repetitions in. Before taking my run-up, I like to take one deep breath through my nose, down to my chest and exhale to ready myself for the goal kick. Your planting foot should be about one of your feet's distance from the ball to generate the swing and your ankle should be locked. Your planting foot should be straight so you won't accidentally curve the ball too much to one of the sides. The follow through. After striking the ball, you want your striking foot to come across your body and to be the foot you land on after the strike. This is also a step you shouldn't overthink too much while practicing. But a good idea would be recording yourself taking your goal kicks when you practice so you can adjust and see what you do wrong. When practicing your goal kicks, you should start with taking them inside the small square and try to hit the top of the net. When you feel you are starting to get the technique right, you can start taking the actual goal kicks and kick them out into the field. After that, you can take the goal kicks from the middle of the field and shooting them inside the goal, trying to aim for the crossbar, so you don't always have to go around and get all the balls after kicking them. Remember when practicing your goal kicks to kick the ball a place where you don't have to think about distance, but rather only focus on technique. The distance will come when you get the technique right. And remember, the goal kick is one of the hardest techniques to learn as a goalkeeper. And even a professional goalkeeper like Kasper Smigel has said he struggled a lot with goal kicks when he was younger. So good luck on your goal kick practice. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And thanks for watching.